Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we got a TikTok live, but we do, we do. Born Betty went on her channel on TikTok. It's been a long time since I've had the ability to go on TikTok and make a video and make a live. I'm so thankful. I feel like life is getting somewhat back to normal after these hurricanes and everything that's been going on. So anyways, I wanted to uh, just say hi to my YouTube family. I'm throwing out some videos today. And here is our short TikTok live that I did on break with Leilani Simon. I'm watching the Leilani Simon trial today to get a good understanding of what's going on and just how right we were. It's just one hitting one ball out of the park at a time in this case. We do great work here on the Bullhorn Betty channel and I hope all of you appreciate the work we have done in the past and the work we will continue to do in the future. God bless. What's going on in this country related to bullying of any kind has hit an all time high, not just with the children, but with the adults. Social media has become a breeding ground and a petri dish of all kinds of cyber bullying and other cyber harassment. What can we do? To be honest with you, keep reporting it if you see it. Don't become a victim. If you're a victim of what I'm going through, please consider reaching out to doxing at at night dot agency. That's doxing at the at symbol a t n i g h t dot agency. Thank you and be safe online. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. It's been a lot long while. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. I am currently watching the Leilani trial, and right now it has um, they have broke for lunch early. And I thought I'd pop on here because it's literally been almost a month since I have been on TikTok. I hope everybody's doing well. Hi, guys. I'm Bullhorn Betty. I cover true crime. And we've been covering the case of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. As you know, this beautiful boy disappeared from his home from inside his locked home in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and has not been heard or seen since. Since the date he went missing, his father, Seth Rogers, has been out um, looking for his son for many, many, many months to come up empty-handed. They've done land, uh, they've done sea searches, you know, water searches, and of course they've had the drone out there doing aerial searches since his son went missing on February 26th and has not been again seen or heard. There's been multiple sightings of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers that ended up not being him after being vetted by law enforcement personnel. And at this time, there are no current sightings that have not been disputed. This boy has been missing since February 26. And again, I impress, has not been seen since that date. As you guys know, Dog the Bounty Hunter and Nick the Hat came along on this uh, journey, decided to take their um, know-how and apply it and try to help find answers in the Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers case. The FBI came up with a $50,000 reward. And since that time, Dog the Bounty Hunter, along with Nick the Hat, have increased that reward to $100,000, and it's just been recently increased to $125,000. Because of all the hate that has been going on in this case, we have um, obviously initiated a federal lawsuit to try to get some of this hate um, subsided on these platforms. And while I don't know what the ultimate decision will be by the judge, all I know is for the well-being of new creators coming aboard these platforms, as well as the ones that are already here, don't deserve to have their lives utterly destroyed because they have an opinion about the case, whether popular or unpopular. So I just wanted to come here also, let people know, hate channels need to stop. 
Um, we are right now campaigning um, Stop the Bullying. I've got some shirts on my uh, Teespring account. If you guys would like to support the movement, please consider doing so. I'm going to continue to advocate for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers for his location and to bring him home safely. But every passing day that we spend on all of this nonsense, which you guys know I have been adamant, I don't want to be involved in the drama. And no matter which way we turn, we keep getting sucked into the drama because we do not want to engage in it. And this has been very distracting for my pursuit as well as many others because we don't believe the way they believe. We believe in common sense. We believe in the evidence and we believe where the evidence is leading. And whether it looks good or does not look good, we have a right to have our opinions about it. So it will start getting back to Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers where it needs to be. And I hope that all of you true crimers out there come along for the ride as we learn more about these cases, advocate for these cases, and seek the truth in these cases. Guys, this is just my one and done thing. I, I will be back, I promise. But there is the Leilani trial going on right now. You can watch it if you're interested in it. It's on Court TV as well as Law and Crime. I'm personally watching the Law and Crime. Oh, SPED teacher, it's nice to see you, my love. It's nice to see you. We just want to get this nonsense to stop, the online bullying to stop. And I, I'm sure everybody on here would love it to stop because most of you guys have children and you can't even imagine your children going through half the stuff that, that you see people go through here on these platforms. And to think that they're adults is a little more alarming. So we want to protect our children that are on this platform. We want to pr protect the creators on this platform. And we want to protect other people that are going to be coming on this platform in the future. Uh, this was wrong. What I've been going through is wrong. And I'm glad um, people are helping me fight uh, the good fight for myself as well as others. So guys, rock it out with your coffee beans out. We will be back to talk more about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers and a few other cases that really do need our attention. We've got cases where a, a person needs to be held accountable for killing a young lady. We have another one that's just major sus uh, with um, you know situation going on. Uh, a, a kid, you know, in a tree. We have a lot of stuff that we can be discussing as well as Ellen Greensburg, uh, which is the teacher that uh, was, that apparently law enforcement deemed as unaliving herself when she has, you know, e -e -e Freddy Krueger marks in the back of her head and neck. So um, it makes it a little impossible for a person to do that to themselves. And we've been watching that and monitoring that, but it doesn't look like a whole lot of traction. So we've got a lot of stuff that's coming up in addition to Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. And we are going to be continuing our full um, coverage on the Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers case. I can't talk about this uh, new case, that's this federal case that's coming out as I am one of the plaintiffs in it. Um, but just understand, we are not just fighting for ourselves, we're fighting for each and every one of you as well. So God bless, take care, and you'll see me soon.